hello fam welcome back to my channel thank you all for clicking on the link to watch this video and thanks to everyone who has subscribed to my channel if today is your first time watching my video please don't forget to click on the subscription button to subscribe to my channel so my name is Brahi so I'm a second year PhD student at Michigan State University and once again I'm back with all your tips for grad school so I've been sharing a list of like schools offering specific programs and I haven't really shared a um, list of schools offering health or health related programs so this video is for those of you interested in health and health related um, programs in the US and Canada so if you have um, a public health background nursing background or any other background i mean you can definitely give it a try if you're interested in health programs and some of these schools are offering phd but um, the good thing is you don't need to have a master's degree to apply for some of these phd programs so even if you have an undergrad degree and you're interested in some of these health programs i'll be sharing you can definitely apply um, for a straight phd and some of the lists i'll be sharing are also like for masters so if you're interested in like masters and not phd you can also um apply um for this program so yeah tag along as i take you through the website and show you the name of these schools and the various health um, programs they are offering and um, the funding information so let's do this tag along as i take you through their website and don't forget to subscribe to my channel help me reach 20k guys <laughs> Those are the list of the schools and as I mentioned like most of these schools are like offering um, PhD, um, some are offering masters but you don't need a masters degree to apply for um, some of the health programs. If you have a health background you can just apply for the for a straight PhD. So this is the first school. The first school is Brown University and with Brown University you can see here that they are saying that admitted doctoral students receive up to five years of guaranteed financial support so you get like five years the phd is five years um with the brown um, school of public health so if you're interested in public health programs you can apply to um the brown university and um, your funding for five years is guaranteed they also have like fellowships they have external fellowships like they have um several scholarships so with the guaranteed financial support for five years you get a stipend tuition remission which means like you don't have to pay for fees a health service you even get like dental um insurance and the financial support applies to both domestic and foreign students so if you're an international student you can still apply to um the public health program at the brown university and you would still qualify for um the five years um support they also have like master's funding so they also have needs based and merit scholarship for masters they have external funding so they have like really good um, funding opportunities for both their masters and phd and again you don't need um the master's um, degree to apply um, for the PhD. So you should definitely um, check out Brown um, University. You can see here that these are the application requirements, transcripts, resume, and the good thing is they are not even requiring GRE. So Brown University is not even um, requiring GRE um, for you to apply for their programs, yeah. So basically that's, that's um, their requirements and the deadline is December 1st um, for like their behavior and social health sciences they have masters of public health these are all the programs they have actually they had health services research epidemiology biostatistics behavioral and social health sciences and the masters of public health so um check out um brown university school of public health the other school is oregon state university so oregon state university also has like a phd in public health so um when you scroll down you can see all the information about their phd in public health program the good thing is these are their public health um, concentration so they have um, global health health policy health promotion and health behavior so if you're interested in any of these categories here you can definitely check out oregon um, state university and they also have full funding for all their um phd students so um check out oregon state university college of public health and human um, sciences then the other school which is the third school is university of michigan so university of michigan also has a public health program and here they've also indicated that many of the doctoral students at university of michigan public health are fully funded so they have like full funding for all their um, students 
and they have different types of funding they have the graduate student instructor the research training grants and fellowship and they've highlighted all like the details about any like all these scholarships so you can see um you get like stipend your health insurance is covered registration fee they pay your tuition so all these scholarships are really good and i'm gonna put the link in the description section so that you can go through yourself but these are all the juicy packages of like all these um, programs you can see here that this is a full payment of tuition health insurance registration fee you also get um, a monthly um stipend so yeah you should um check out university of uh, michigan uh, public health department and these are the different programs they also offer biostatistics um doctoral program health management and policy health services nutritional sciences health behavior and health education environmental health sciences epidemiology doctoral program so yeah they have like all these like different um health programs for those of you interested in health so check out university of michigan now the other school is university of waterloo in canada so um these schools are not like just for u.s schools this is the only canadian school i found so this school also offers um health and public health related programs so you can see here that they have funding in the form of teaching assistantship and research assistantships so applicants who are accepted full-time for the doctoral program will normally will normally receive funding for the first four years of the doctoral program teaching and research assistants are 10 hours per week so you get like all this good um money and they also have like different scholarships and award so please um check out um school of public health sciences at um, university of waterloo i'll also put the link there and you can definitely go through and look at um, how to apply for the school and the programs that you'll be interested in for this particular school so yeah check out university of waterloo in canada now the other school is kansas university so ku stands for kansas so kansas university school of nursing they also have um master of science in nursing they have doctoral of nursing practice they have doctor of philosophy and they offer like um full funding for all of this job program so they offer a multitude of scholarship based on the academic performance or financial need or racial or ethnic um minority background so um check out Kansas University School of Nursing. Again, I'll put the link in the description and you can now access um, the link. Now, the last school is Georgetown University. So, Georgetown University has Master of Science in Health Systems Administration. So, if you're interested in Master of Science in Health System Administration, you should definitely um, check out um, Georgetown town university and they also offer um different funding opportunities for all the admitted um students so yeah check out um georgetown university so i'll just go through quickly go through the schools again the first is brown university um the second school is oregon state university the next school is university of michigan and then we have university of waterloo in canada then we have Kansas University and we have Georgetown University. So check out all these schools if you're interested in health and health related um, programs. Even if you don't have a health background, you can still give it a try if you're interested in health programs. So thank you all so much for watching this video. If this video was very good, please um, click on the like button and put something in the comment section and also share this video. Thank you all and I'll see you again next time. Bye.